This is WCPO 9 News. Thank you so much for joining us for WCPO 9 News. I'm Craig McKee. Here's a look at some of today's top stories. Governor Mike DeWine is now involved in the effort to bring kidnapped missionaries home from Haiti. He's working with the White House and Senator Rob Portman. 17 people, including a two-year-old, are missing. They are all part of an Ohio-based ministry. Officials believe the group was kidnapped by one of the country's most powerful gangs after visiting an orphanage. The Newport police officer charged with engaging in sexual activity with a minor has resigned. Officer Tyler Hatfield is accused of asking an underage boy for explicit pictures and asking the boy for sex through Snapchat. Deputies say there's no evidence to suggest that Hatfield committed the crimes while on duty. Newport police is also now conducting its own internal investigation. It says if found guilty of the crime, Hatfield would lose his certification to serve as a police officer within the Commonwealth. Neighbors in Evanston met with city leaders Monday night to address recent violence in the neighborhood. Two deadly shootings happened in Evanston last week. On Tuesday, 39-year-old Yersele Sammy Sr. was shot and killed in a drive-by shooting on Montgomery Road and Clarion Avenue there. On Wednesday, someone shot and killed 16-year-old just two blocks away on Jonathan Avenue. This week is National School Bus Safety Week. The Ohio State Highway Patrol says troopers will be out along school bus routes and in school zones this week. They say it's all to ensure the safety of students. The Ohio State Highway Patrol says since 2016, there have been 6,524 crashes involving school buses in the state. A chilly night tonight across the tri-state. We see our temperatures falling into the mid 40s under a clear sky. We'll see winds out of the southwest about three to five miles per hour. But for your Tuesday, expect to see mostly sunny skies. It will be rather mild, a high of 70 degrees, but we will see some cooler temperatures returning to the area. As we look at your nine day forecast, we do have 70s for Tuesday and Wednesday. The chance for rain arrives on Thursday, but we've got some cooler temperatures in store for the weekend. Highs only in the lower 60s.